Today is such an exciting video. This is my official 100k subscribers video. So a lot, a lot, a lot has happened. Okay, first of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup. This is a get ready with me style, but it's not even about the makeup. I'm just gonna talk. So I will have all the products linked down below and then a little picture slide in to show you what products I'm using. A lot has happened recently. Of course, I hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, which for me is the most exciting. It's the one I've worked the hardest for. YouTube is my favorite social media platform. But as you can see, if you look down below at my subscriber count, I have 110,000 followers, so <laughs> this video is not timely. I hit 100,000 followers a couple of weeks ago, but I hit it right around the time that I was preparing for my parents and my husband's parents to come into town for over two and a half weeks, so I didn't have time to squeeze in this video, so it's a bit delayed. I'm very, very blessed that I've grown faster than I've ever grown recently, but it really makes it seem like I'm super late on this video because <laughs> I have 110,000 subscribers on YouTube. So first of all, I just wanna say a huge, huge thank you to those of you who support me and have left all of your kind comments and liked and have allowed me to do this as my job because I genuinely mean it when I say that I am really doing my dream job. I couldn't be happier doing anything else. And I think, you know, I'm pretty good at it. You know, I'm not perfect, of course, but I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So a huge thank you to you all for being a part of that. Obviously, numbers are in everything, but it just is kind of a really nice reminder that I'm doing things right and that you guys are enjoying my content. I think, you know, I've had a lot of growth recently, so I've also had to get used to a lot of opinions coming my way from people that I know do not support my channel. But this video was for the OG people. Now, before I really dive in, there's gonna be giveaway details at the end of this video. I'm giving away quite a lot of packages and I'm really excited about. I don't like making giveaways a really big deal on my channel because people come out of the woodworks that I know don't follow me just to get prizes. And when it comes to giveaways, I really just want to give away to my true supporters. So we're not gonna make a big deal out of it. But I did want to say, as you know, there's a ton of scam comments going around where scammers will pretend to be whatever YouTuber you're watching and comment that you want and tell you to telegram, WhatsApp, whatever. Please be aware of those comments. While this is a giveaway, I've been wary of doing it because of what's going on with scammers right now. So the only places I will contact you about winning are on Instagram from Morgan Turner Makeup or via email, mturnermakeup at gmail.com. If anybody else or any other account tells you like WhatsApp, Telegram, or whatever these scammers are using nowadays, that is not me. So yeah, I'll go over the details of the giveaway towards the end. But like I said, while I am excited about the giveaway, we're not gonna make a big deal out of it until the end. My plan for today's video, I actually just wanna take a step back and go over my YouTube journey with you guys, kind of where I started at, how I'm here, what in my life has changed, all of that. Just a good walk down memory lane. Like I said, I've grown a lot recently. There's a lot of people who don't know my story, but I know a lot of you guys do, but maybe I can give you some some different information that I've never given you before, but it really is a full celebratory video. I am honestly in disbelief and I'm so thankful for the growth I've had on social media lately because I did hit 100K here on YouTube, but I recently, a little bit before that, hit 100K on TikTok. And then a few days ago, I hit 100K on Instagram. It is absolutely crazy. I've never had this kind of growth before. I've never had this number of <laughs> comments before and opinions being thrown at me. So it's been a lot, but I don't know. I just feel really good, really inspired. So let's start off with how I got here, why I started my YouTube channel, all of that. 
So I started my YouTube channel probably four and a half years ago, almost five in January. What I actually started before my YouTube channel though was my Instagram, Morgan Turner Makeup. And I started it because I wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I wasn't quite so confident yet. But I felt a little bit more comfortable starting an Instagram first. And I just wanted to post my makeup looks. I think I was a junior in college or beginning my senior year in college when I started my Instagram because I had a lot of girls complimenting my makeup at my school and they would tell me to start a YouTube channel or they would ask me a bunch of questions. So I started my Instagram first just to play around, get confident with being on social media, but also to advertise my business. <laughs> so what I did on the side in college to make money my senior year was I went to a makeup school. I'm really struggling with my brows right now. Ignore that. But I just had to go off camera and do my eyebrows because they were giving me trouble. Anyways, back to my stories. For my, I think it was my 21st birthday present, I asked if my parents would pay for me to go to a makeup school or a makeup certification program. So it wasn't like esthetician school or anything, but I did get a certificate for makeup school. And honestly, it was really good. I learned a lot about sanitation. That was the most important lessons that I learned. But I did that because I wanted to start doing makeup on other people, but I wanted to do it the right way. So I went to that school in the summer and then I came back for my senior year of college and I started using my Instagram that I had started to advertise to girls and sororities in my college and do their makeup. And I did their makeup for literally like five to ten dollars. <laughs> which if you look up the prices of makeup artists, that is an absolute steal, basically working for free. But I wanted to kind of build my portfolio because I was looking to get into doing makeup professionally once I got out of college. I didn't really care how much money I made, though I did make some decent side money, all things considered for being a college student doing that. So through doing makeup on girls at my college and posting about it online, kind of advertising it, my school was really small, so everybody already knew about it, but it was my outlet to create create looks, post them, and to kind of ease myself into social media because I've always been interested in YouTube. By doing girls makeup, I really did get the confidence to start a YouTube channel because they all suggested like, Morgan, you should start a YouTube channel. And so I eventually did in my senior year of college. I was still at school when I started my YouTube channel. And you know, I always took it seriously. I knew that once I started my YouTube channel, that was it. It was going to be my new hobby. I didn't go into this expecting to ever have this be my full-time job. I remember having conversations with my mom and she would be like, hush, could you imagine if you did this full-time? And I would be like, wow, that's such a crazy thought. It was never my goal because I never thought it was possible. And in my head, I was going to be a PE teacher. And then if anything, if my YouTube could grow to anything, I wanted it to at least just cover my expenses for buying the makeup because you guys know being a teacher doesn't make the biggest salary. The ultimate goal that I had for my YouTube channel was that it would pay for makeup that I bought so I could buy what I wanted makeup wise. For years of doing social media, that's all I ever thought it would be for me. I was perfectly content and happy with the idea of being a teacher and then having my little social media account as my outlet. I get asked a lot, how was I able to afford to review products? So I didn't know when I started my YouTube channel what I really wanted to even do using the Ofra and Ali Dawson palette, by the way, that she came out with a collaboration palette with Ofra. So I'm really excited to play with this. I've used it a few times before, but I want to do a colorful look today. Anyways, back to the story. When I started my YouTube channel, I wanted to give advice. I, th I think, you know, me at that point in my life, I was going to become a teacher, so I was always interested in teaching people, helping people, giving product recommendations. And so I did a review of a Natasha Denona palette because my mom had bought it and it was new. So I was like, let me review it. I never thought I would become a review channel, but I really enjoyed it. I think it's because I was a teacher and I was going to school to be a teacher that I loved the idea of teaching in a review sense. So I noticed the Natasha Denona video that I had posted pretty good at the time for somebody who just started. And I was like, huh, I might be onto something and I really enjoyed it. So then blossomed me 
starting to review products. I was posting whatever I wanted. It wasn't anything I was taking too seriously, but I knew it was something I was always going to do. And slowly but surely, you guys, I really did notice my YouTube moving and growing followers. And so I continued to post reviews and started to learn kind of how YouTube worked, how I could grow and started building this community. And I was having so much fun. I didn't make money off of YouTube until probably a year later, by the way. Something that I get asked a lot was how I was able to afford makeup products to review. I still get asked that question, but especially in the beginning, you know, you can't start social media thinking that you're going to earn any kind of money because you're not. I started when I was in college and how I was able to afford buying products was I would work dumb jobs on campus. Like I would be the soccer ball girl. I did the scoreboard for volleyball a couple times. I wasn't very good at it, but I did that. So I would pick up jobs like that while I was in college. And I wasn't in college very long when I started my channel. So I didn't spend too much time working those little jobs. But once I graduated and moved back home, my mom, who's also into makeup with me, she started going halvesies with me to buy new product launches. She, of course, wanted the products, but I know she was totally motivated because she saw how happy my YouTube channel was making me. So we would go halvesies on new products. But you guys, I was also working a lot, a lot of jobs after I started my YouTube channel and after I graduated. I went to makeup school, like I said earlier, so I applied to be a bridal and special events makeup artist for a company and I got hired and those jobs are only on the weekend so that's how I spent my weekend and all of the money I made doing makeup for the first few months went right back into my YouTube channel. The makeup money I made would go back into buying makeup and I would say that's the biggest factor of how I made my money in the beginning to be a review channel because the wedding industry it's expensive. I made really good money doing bridal makeup and I feel like it also made me a better reviewer because I was more familiar with different skin types, skin maturity, skin tones, all of that. So overall doing that has benefited me so much as a makeup review channel. And then also to make some money, I was a high school lacrosse and field hockey coach. Like I said, I have a PE degree and of course I was teaching full time. So at one point in my life, in the very early stages, I wouldn't say in the first one to two years of doing YouTube, I worked four jobs. <laughs> I would wake up in the morning, I would go to my teaching job all day, then I would drive to the high school that I coached at and I would coach my players and then I would come home late in the night and I would film and edit for my YouTube channel. On the weekends, I would go off and do wedding makeup in the early morning, Saturday and Sunday, and then I would film and edit the rest of the evenings on Saturday and Sunday. And then come summer and spring, I also was a youth league coach for multiple sports sports, you know, for my local parks and rec center. So I would do like toddler soccer and all of that. It, it really felt like a double life going from coaching sports to putting on makeup and putting makeup on others. But that's how I was able to afford my products. I worked my butt off. I had zero free time to myself. And also, I do want to acknowledge that I was living with my parents. I was very, very privileged to be able to work in my parents' house rent-free. So my full-time job essentially would pay for any bills that I had, all my loans, all of that. And then money that I made doing makeup went back into my channel. And then I would say about a year into my YouTube channel, I did start to make some money to supplement the products that I was buying and reviewing. And then ultimately, you know, I was making enough money from social media that I could let go of some of those jobs and have time to myself. So I stopped coaching. I stopped the Parks and Rec Center work. And then for a while, you guys know, I was teaching full time and coming home doing my YouTube channel in the evenings. And then I also did bridal makeup 
up until I recently moved to Miami. It was really fun. I loved it. I love the grind, but <laughs> I must say I'm really happy that I've gotten to the point now where I can slow everything down. I just do YouTube and then I can have free time. Though I will say I do work my butt off now though because with all of the new platforms that have evolved over the years, oh my gosh, you know, it's so hard to keep up. I'm making so much short form videos as well with my YouTube and then I was extra motivated to hit 100K. So I was posting even more long form content, but I am so, so lucky. And I will say one thing that helped my channel, which obviously I'm not happy that COVID happened, but I did take advantage of when COVID first started. I was teaching online to really focus on my channel because I had more time at home and all other after school activities were canceled. So I did take advantage of that to grow my channel and I didn't start to see the possibility of being able to go full time on YouTube until probably towards the end of 2021. So think of it in the timeline, March 2020, COVID started. I think that's everybody's kind of benchmark point. That's when I first actually saw some growth in my channel because I had the time to actually increase my posting and put more serious time into my social media. And I would say I probably could have gone full time early 2021 after that holiday season. That's kind of when I decided that that didn't make sense for me to teach and do YouTube because at that point I was pretty much working two full-time jobs. I was teaching, I was back in the classrooms, but I was making more money doing YouTube part-time. But I will say I was pretty much working full-time hours. So by the summer of 2021, I was ready. I knew I wanted to go full-time with YouTube. It was my passion and a year later here, we are now. I am really struggling right now with <laughs> talking and doing my makeup. If you are interested, I do have plans of doing kind of a Q&A video, answering your questions about doing YouTube full-time, channel growth, all of that, like YouTube-related questions. I wasn't planning on answering them in this video. I need to ask on my Instagram story, but let me know if that's a video you'd be interested in. I really love being a teacher, so if I can help you guys grow social media I would love to give my best tips just let me know if that's a video that you would be interested in because I do have people asking me all the time you know what equipment I use any tips all of that it's just I don't know I feel like I'm not certified enough to like really teach somebody how to grow their social media but I'd be happy you know to go a little bit further into the strategies that I used and my best advice to get me to where I am today. And yeah, anyways, that's kind of how this happened and going full time happened. It wasn't something that I had planned. It sort of just happened. It was never my goal to be in this position, but once the opportunity came to me, I was so thankful that I had the opportunity to make that decision for myself. And doing this, I mean, has proved to be the right decision. I do miss teaching though. There are a lot of aspects about teaching that I miss. Overall, I would say I love doing what I do now, but there's a lot of difficulties in the education system that just make this job kind of a walk in the park. I always get asked, you know, is doing social media hard or easy? It is objectively very easy. As somebody who was a teacher who taught hundreds of children and was responsible for the lives of 30 children at a time, eight hours a day, and managing them and making sure they're safe and taking them outside, teaching them and everything, this job is easy. This job is so much more relaxing, but this job takes a lot of time. I work all the time because everything I do takes hours to do. So that's what I would say. Doing social media is easy, but it is very, very time consuming and that can get stressful because there's so much, you know, you want to get done as a content creator, so much you don't want to miss out on, but you kind of have to just because of how long everything takes. This palette from Physicians Formula, I am loving it. I think it is 
so pretty. And this pastel rainbow look is also very, very pretty. So I'm going to quickly do this liner. I think my plan of action. So I'm going to do like my liner, my lashes off camera, and then I'll be back to close up this video and then talk about the giveaway. Y'all, I was so focused to talking to you. I don't even know like what makeup I used, but it all looks so nice. It came together. I'm going to use Rare Beauty Lip Liner and then Christian Audette Bare Nectar, which was Tara Lynn's collaboration color. You guys, this was sent to my house, so it took forever to reroute it over to Miami, but I finally have it. I'm so excited. Anyways, it's just really crazy to look back at where I was in life four and a half years ago when I started. You know, I was like, what, 21, 22, in school to be a PE teacher. That was in my eyes what I was going to end up doing. <laughs> and then I ended up, you know, since then, I quit teaching. I got married. And by the way, I started my YouTube channel before I met my husband. I met my husband in the beginning of starting my YouTube channel, but I think I had like a thousand subscribers when I met my husband. And now we live in Miami and I play with makeup all day. <laughs> I just never saw this for myself and I am so, so grateful and so thankful to you guys for all of the support you've given me. I've had some of the kindest comments and really ones that I just... I can't believe people even watch me. I can't believe people take the time to listen to what I have to say. I can't believe, you know, people message me and tell them I've made their day better or they look forward to my videos or it's an activity for them. It's what they want to do. That is still so unbelievable to me. And this lipstick is perfect for this look. So give me a second, I'm gonna pull my hair down and let's get to the fun part. Let's get into the giveaway. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the giveaway. Of course, for 100K on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, I wanted to give away a good number of prizes. So I pulled together about eight or nine packages that I'm going to send out to a number of you. I didn't want to send out one giant package to one person. I wanted more of my supporters to be able to receive some stuff. I don't make giveaways as big of a deal here. So I know I have three Pat McGrath palettes floating around in those packages. I have a Natasha Denona palette floating around in there, Pat McGrath blush palette. I have some really beautiful Sydney Grace palettes and a lot of good stuff in these boxes. So there is like kind of like one big main palette in each box and then the rest is you know PR that I didn't have overflow all of that is also going to be in those boxes so here is how you win first of all you must be following me on TikTok Instagram and of course subscribe to me on YouTube my TikTok and Instagram are named Morgan Turner makeup if you don't have a TikTok that's okay <laughs> you don't need to make one I can't really check if you follow me on there or not but I would appreciate it if you would follow me on Instagram and TikTok Morgan Turner makeup, but I will definitely track if you're following me on Instagram because that's how I'm going to contact you. So make sure you're subscribed to me here and are following me on Instagram, most important. But if you have a TikTok, shoot me a follow over there too. And to enter, you must comment where you are from because here's the main reason I'm going to be honest with you guys this giveaway is open internationally and you guys know how expensive international shipping is so I want to make sure I get a nice even mix of international and based in the U.S. but you can enter if you're from a different country that's fine so comment where you're from and your most used and coveted beauty product one one that you can't live without. And you have to comment your Instagram handle because that is how I'm going to contact the winner. If you don't have an Instagram, you can also comment your email, but I do prefer Instagram. So the only way that you will win is if Morgan Turner Makeup messages you on Instagram. Don't fall for those scammers or mturnermakeup at gmail.com emails the email that you provided for me. So the giveaway is going to end exactly one week from today. I will have the time and the exact date in the description box. Winners will all be contacted privately. I'm not going to make a big announcement or, you know, announce the names, but I will contact everybody privately. So those are all the details. Like I said, just a quick reminder, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Just comment where you're from and your number one most favorite coveted beauty product and your Instagram handle, and you are good to go.
you know, I genuinely cannot thank you all enough for literally changing my life. I hope that I could at least provide you with a beauty review that was helpful for you, help you find some products that you enjoyed through my reviews, saved you some money, saved you from buying a really bad product. That's all I want. That's my goal here. And so I hope I was able to at least do that for you with all that you guys have given me. So thank you guys so much for sitting down and watching this video and talking with me and kind of taking a walk around memory lane. It really is crazy how I got here and I'm so thankful for you guys. And you know, I don't really like talking about myself. So these kinds of videos are weird for me, but I had to do it. I had to have this one video. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck in the giveaway and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.